Hello, and welcome to the ASME membership session here at eFest Careers 2020. My name is Valentina Alayan, and I am a strategic project specialist within ASME's membership team. And what we wanted to do today was give you guys a little bit of an overview on how to utilize your ASME member benefits as you're going through these changes in your career and then also your schooling, especially as everything goes digital. And so to begin, we really wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about ASME. As ASME members, you guys are actually part of a global engineering community made up of over 100,000 members in over 140 countries. And everything that is done, whether it's at ASME headquarters, within sections, divisions, the different teams, our conferences, publishing, is all done according to the ASME mission, which is to advance engineering for the benefit of humanity. So as you guys move forward with your ASME membership and with your participation in it, ASME, keep that in mind that everything we do is driven by this mission. So before diving into the ASME member benefits that we offer, we wanted to acknowledge some of the challenges you guys are facing in this digital world. So as students, there are some gaps in the educational resources that might be available for you. Maybe it's not being able to go to the library, maybe it's less office hours, or it could even be as simple as not being able to join that study group that really helped you figure out your homework. And then as far as career resources, being on campus was something that many times let you meet up with industry and gave you some opportunities to learn more about what a career as an engineer entails. And with this digital transformation, these are some areas which we thought students might need some more help. And then as far as early career engineers, it's a very competitive job market right now. So staying competitive is something that we know a lot of early career engineers are keeping in mind. Maybe it's entering into a new field. Maybe it's making sure that you're up to date on all the information for your current company. But there are some benefits that we're going to discuss that can help you stay competitive. And of course, money. And I definitely know that students need money as well. But as early career engineers, maybe it's time for you to start paying back your loans, or maybe you're adding additional expenses with not living on campus. Um, so we, we really wanted to touch on some of the monetary challenges that you guys are facing and how your membership can help that out. So staying competitive and additional educational resources both really fall under learning. And so Access Engineering and ASME's Learning and Development Program are two great ways that you can kind of mitigate these challenges. Access Engineering is an online resource powered by McGraw-Hill Education. It's a platform that hosts over 775 titles, one of them being Mark Standard Handbook. But on there, you'll find a lot of different resources that can help you, whether it's studying for an exam or maybe just doing your homework. There's the DataViz system, which can help you analyze data. There's the spreadsheets, which can be as simple as helping you create a spreadsheet to double check that MATLAB code that you're working on. Maybe it's a video that walks you through solving a problem. And then there's also data tables and graphs that you might be using, whether it's prepping for an exam or as a resource for your classes. So access engineering is a great way to get some supplemental help in your classes. And as a textbook resource, you know that the information on there is going to be relevant to your studies. ASME's learning and development courses actually offer great educational opportunities, especially with the live courses and e-learning courses. So the live courses occur through ASME's virtual classroom, public courses, and the master class series. So those are more of your traditional live courses. However, e-learning courses are online instructor supported. There's the assessment based courses, and there are even courses in Spanish. So as you guys look into these courses, it's a great way to find out different engineering and technical disciplines that you might want to get some more specialization on or learn a little bit more and prepare, whether it's for a current job or for a future job. When it comes to ASME membership benefits related to career resources, there are two main benefits we focus on. The first is the A Day in the Life webinar series. This series follows engineers working at companies like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Raytheon, and Tesla, and answers the question, what does a mechanical engineer do? 
The webinars are interactive and recorded and then available online. These webinars can be very helpful as you're looking into what companies to apply for, maybe preparing for an interview, or maybe just trying to figure out what options are there for a mechanical engineer. The ASME Career Center is so much more than a job board. It allows you to upload your resume and get job alerts. You can also search for jobs according to job title, keyword, or company. There are also additional resources in the Career Center, giving you information as to trends, who's hiring, and different sorts of career resources to help prepare you, whether it's for an interview, prepare your resume, or even figure out a little bit more about what you want to do. ASME membership can also help you save money, whether it's buying a new laptop from Dell or even renting a car through Avis Pay Less or Budget. The ASME insurance program can help you save money on homeowner's insurance, life insurance, health insurance, even pet and travel insurance. So now that we've talked about your ASME member benefits, let's talk a little bit more about accessing those benefits. So the first step that you would take would actually be to visit ASME.org. And this is what the homepage looks like. So as you can see, there are a lot of different areas within ASME shown on here, but for the purpose of this presentation, we're just gonna talk about the accessing your benefits component. Um, if you guys haven't read our event policy announcement, however, definitely encourage you guys to go online and read that as well. But when you're on ASME.org and you want to access your benefits, the first step that you're going to take is you're going to have to sign into your account. So as you can see in the upper right corner right there, it says sign in or create account. So you're going to click on that. If you're already signed in, your name will appear on there. But for the purpose of this, let's assume you're not signed in. It's going to open this window up and you're going to see on here that you have to enter your email and a password. If you don't already have an account, you're going to have to create one. But if you do, you would log in. And then now, as you can see in the upper right corner, it has your name. So you're logged in there. You're ready to access your account. So the next thing you would do is you would click on that and it would give you the option to go into your account page. When you click on that, it brings you to this page. Now I talked about a couple of the benefits, but as you guys can see, there's learning, publications, career resources, networking, discounts. There's a variety of benefits that you guys have access to as members. And so logging in and clicking on here, you'll be able to access those benefits and learn a little bit more about some of the other ones we haven't talked about. But while you're in here, there's one more thing you guys need to make sure to do and that's to check your communication preferences. We get the question a lot, why didn't I know about this? Or why didn't I receive an email about this? And many times the reason for this is you haven't updated your communication preferences. Maybe you were living in a dorm and now you're back home. Well, you need to make sure that your address is filled in correctly. You would do that in your account details. Maybe you need to opt in or out of receiving communications um, or newsletters or emails of sorts. So definitely make sure to go into the communication preferences page and sign up for the type of content you want to be receiving, especially because that's one of the best ways to make sure that you're learning about all the things that are going on at ASME at any given point. On this account page, you can see that you can also go in and renew your membership, look at your professional profile, edit your address, that sort of stuff. Now, when it comes to renewing your membership, we've talked about some of the benefits, but let's talk a little bit about the pricing. So ASME membership pricing is divided up according to your level of experience. And so what we did is we understand that the professional membership costs $158. However, as a student, that might not be something that you can pay. So a freshman student or first year student pays $0 a year for that first year of membership. An ASME regular membership is $25 a year. Once you graduate and when you're within your first year of your career, you pay $63, 86, 110, 134 until you hit the point of the $158. Now, the benefits that we talked about are available at all the levels of membership from freshman to professional. The pricing just changes because of how much we expect you guys to be able to earn or be able to essentially pay as a student versus a professional member. 
And do note that there are exceptions depending on what country you're living in. The pricing might change. There are promotions that go on sometimes when it comes to an event or a conference or maybe even a course. And then there are group discounts. So student sections, if they apply together, there is a group rate. Um, and so that can affect the price. But in general, these are good numbers to look at, but you can always check our website or when you're renewing to make sure that you're paying the right amount. And that brings us to the end of our presentation. Hopefully you guys found that helpful. If you have any additional questions, you can always shoot me an email right there. Um, that is my email. But we hope that you can utilize some of these member benefits to make the most of your ASME membership and to continue to get help wherever you are in your career or degree. Have a great rest of your conference.